Hey everyone, my name is Rob Armstrong and today I'm going to be showing you how I make fry bread. I say my fry bread because everybody has their own way of making their own fry bread, but basically it's so simple. I actually have a book of all these recipes on how to make fry bread, but none of the recipes have how I make fry bread. And I've actually had people requesting to show them how I make fry bread, so here's how I make my fry bread. I start out with about three cups all-purpose flour. I'm not showing you the bag because I'm not endorsed yet. So three, ba three, three cups all-purpose flour. I use approximately um, one teaspoon of baking powder per cup of flour. But um, if you want a little bit more thicker, a little bit lighter, go a little bit um, generous with your baking powder and I also add salt to taste. Now a lot of people they put in milk, they put in um, milk and water. My mom used to make milk and water and um, today because I don't have any milk I'm just going to be using water. My gram used to make it with um, powdered milk. I don't have any of that either. But, it, but then again my gran, she used to make it with, uh, on top of the pot belly stove. So, um, more about that later. Um, mix in the uh, baking powder with the uh, salt and the flour. I make a little bit of a indent in the middle. And then I grab my water. I use warm water, but I don't really measure how much water I use I do because for me it's all about consistency so then I start with the middle and I work out to the edges and then I start folding the outside into the middle and this is where it kind of gets tricky where you want to keep everything together so it uh blends in easier so plus you know you get everything from the the sides of the bowl and you can uh, keep an eye on how your your dough is coming along you don't want to add too much water you want to pour water in as you go because if you make if you pour in too much water your your dough is pretty much done if you uh if you add have to add flour to your dough later which you don't want to do. It comes out very dense and uh, very thick. And you don't really want to do that for uh, if you like your um, fried bread light and fluffy like I do. So, so this is how, how I typically make it. But um, once I put it out onto the onto the um, countertop. I'll flour it. I'll put down a layer of flour and then um, put down a layer of flour and then scrape your dough onto the layer of flour. Like that and then I put another layer of flour on top of that and then I start to knead the flour my grandmother said one time don't be kneading the flour too much because you'll make it too dense so it's just she used to make her her uh, fry bread a little on the dense side but not too bad that's what I grew up with, that's what I like. And that's kind of like how my mom how my mom made it too. Obviously, you know, if you're that's how your mom cooks, that's pretty much how you cook, and that's pretty much the the taste of uh, what you're gonna what you like. So I mean if uh, for example if your grandmother if you think your grandmother makes the world's greatest meatloaf and you make meatloaf just like hers 
course it's going to be the world's greatest meatloaf. This is the world's greatest fry bread dill. So, but um, you can tell by the consistency, it's not too dense and it's not too, I mean, if you grab it, it's not going to just, uh, it's, it's a little on the elastic side and that's kind of like what you want. And then once uh, I uh, heat up the oil, then um, I, I'll show you how to form the fry breads and then we'll go from there and make the uh, make fry bread. So I'm going to let this sit for about a half hour and then I'll, once the oil's warmed up and at temperature, we'll, we'll go again. So, so here we are, I got the oil going. Um, the veg I use vegetable oil. As I stated before, my grandmother used to use like Crisco can of lard. We don't do that anymore, but uh, for health reasons. Here I am making fry bread. But uh, mm -hmm. the meat, the heat is on uh, medium to high, and you gotta watch the oil for it to, um, you don't wanna put a fry bread in, the dough in, with, too, with the oil too hot, or else it's gonna be crispy on the outside and doughy on the inside, and in it, it just the opposite, if the oil's not hot enough. It'll take forever to fully cook, fry, and it'll, um, it'll soak up all that grease, and you don't want that. So it's very temperamental. You gotta um, figure out um, your materials. I'm using an aluminum um, pan. My grandmother used to use a cast iron pan. My mom used to use one of those, um, uh, not fry daddies, but the um, frying skillets. So basically um, what I did was I already turned over the flour to just get from sticking onto the um, counter. And what I'm gonna do now is just, I use a glass. I don't have a uh, cookie cutter. So and it's the perfect size for what I wanna do. So you can pat it down. Uh, flour it a little bit and um, maybe quarter of an inch thick then I'll just kind of like smooth it out a little bit and it seems to be good now here's the the dangerous part be very careful about this you've got hot oil so you just kind of gently throw it in there and if the oils up to temperature it should um, do what it's doing right now so it looks pretty good the oil looks like it's uh, at a good temperature so I'll make another I'll pat it down a little bit and get it to the thickness that I want and then form it it doesn't have to be perfectly it doesn't have to be perfectly round it's all about taste not not the shape so I'm gonna cook the rest of that cook up the rest of the dough and then um, I'll come back and I'll show you the end result and uh, probably make some Indian tacos later so I'll show you I'll talk to you in a little bit so here we are this is what um, three cups of flour um, four teaspoons of baking powder and a little bit of salt to taste it is a little bit on the um, paler side um, it's not golden brown like it typically is because like I stated before, I didn't use milk. Milk is what's going to give it that full golden um, fry bread color that a lot of people like to uh, see in their fry bread. I'm in it for the taste. Um, to me, this, this is, it tastes great. And it's still pretty uh, light and fluffy on the inside. And uh, put a little butter on there and maybe some strawberry jam. You'll be good to go. So here's what we are. Um, this is going to be plenty of enough for um, Indian tacos that I'm going to be making later this afternoon. So, uh, bon appetit.